Lotus Breach fans, I am back. Brent Cook here, and we're playing my favorite modern deck with some changes. No gimmicks this time. The last few times I've uploaded this deck, there's been things like Death Shadow and other wild ideas. We're just tonight playing what I would play if I was to enter a tournament tomorrow. No gimmicks, only good stuff. So recently, the modern format has changed. Things like Leyline Binding have come to power and other, you know, pretty different decks like it's just kind of wild like creativity is the most popular deck in goldfish right now which is just wild so we're looking to beat a number of things including like unmourned ego for example and when you look at how the deck was built previously we were playing four copies of inquisition of kozilek those became let's see if we'll let me zoom there we go four copies of spell pierce which seems a little bit odd like we're a deck that's weak to Dothy Voidwalker, but you can't beat everything. And I've always had that opinion across all formats. Like if you build your deck to be everything, your overall match win percentage is going to be lower. You should really just be looking to beat the pinnacle of the format and, you know, try to dodge the other bad matchups. So one of the nice things about Spell Pierce, though, is it drastically improves a bad matchup of ours, which is Living End, because now you can interact with their crucial spell on the stack. And that's pretty big game in my opinion. So I expect that our win percentage is going to go from like 10%, maybe to 30s or 40s, who knows. But we'll see how that plays out today. I've played it in the past and it actually wasn't bad. So we'll see how it goes. But one thing that I think has changed a lot about this deck since the last time that I played Spell Pierce is the number of instant speed draws we have. So we have Consider. And we can leave open mana with Bobble as well. Otherworldly Gaze, Street Wraith. We're not always tapping out on turn one. So you get to hold this open and stop things like Chalice of the Void, Blood Moon, Unmourned Ego, Leyline Binding, Thought Seize, a ton of different cards. And I think that's going to be really, really helpful for us. So yes, we can't hit Dothy Voidwalker, but I think our overall match win percentage will raise once we have Spell Pierce. So in order to accommodate for playing Spell Pierce, because it, we are making a concession. I've made a change to the main deck. We're playing a main deck Void Snare over the fourth copy of Consider. I really like Consider. And if you want, you could even cut the fourth copy of Street Wraith. But I think Street Wraith is actually better than Consider. So I want to keep four Street Wraith and only three Consider. But there's another impactful change that goes along with this Void Snare. You're allowed to play three basic islands now for blood moon which is pretty huge so without only needing one watery grave to support wishclaw talisman you don't have to worry about casting inquisition anymore so you can get away with just those as your shock lands and i think that's going to help out quite a bit so we're better against blood moon now we get in multiple ways not only three islands but spell pierce so i think we just short up a number of matchups just like that and blood moon has been fairly popular speaking of blood moon effects magus of the moon not affected by spell pierce right well i'm taking an idea from the storm discord i'm going to play mind collapse today i've cut ave progenitor ooze for it will i miss ave probably not i haven't cast it in four or five leagues playing this deck and i feel like it was one of those cards where it was better in theory than in practice so i'm playing mind collapse today your opponent can play a magus of the moon you just cast wish you can immediately mind collapse and kill the magus so we have this nice answer with mind collapse ley line of sanctity's back i tried not playing it for a little bit i think that was just a big big mistake and now it's back i need that protection from unmourned ego and thought seize and everything else the rest of the sideboard's pretty stock let's say you've never ever seen this deck before the idea is pretty simple we are lotus breach which means we are playing lotus field a black lotus effect and it becomes Dark Ritual with Twiddle. Well, your Twiddles become Dark Rituals. I, I said that backwards, but uh, one blue makes three. That's the idea. So you untap your Lotus Field over and over. So we have actual Twiddle, and then we have Dreams Grip from Mirrodin, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. So we have eight Dark Rituals in our deck. The idea is that you then play Underworld Breach, and then you pair that with Tome Scour. So you create a pseudo loop where you can Tome Scour yourself twice and then Twiddle. This will put 10 cards to your graveyard and you can cast all three of those effects. So Tome Scour twice and Twiddle for three blue mana. So you end up plus one card every loop. Eventually you cast Wish for the Cyborg Grape Shot. If you want to know about Thassa's Oracle, go watch another video. I talk about it all the time. Not going to do that today. I just want to hop on in and play some magic. It's already pretty late and I don't have a video for tomorrow yet. So I got to go through this one quickly. 
I appreciate you watching, I really do, and uh, I'll see you in the first round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsperm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round. We are on the play. Looking forward to playing this deck. I love it so much. Keep. I don't get to play the decks that I like to play as often due to being a content creator. It's just the nature of the beast. I mean, I'm not trying to complain too much, but, um... <sighs> If you upload the same deck too often, you get lower views, so you're not incentivized to do that. So you want to try to play a variety of different things, keep people entertained, but in the meantime, you don't get to play sweet decks like Lotus Breach when that's really what you want to be doing. We're seeing a watery grave here from the opponent. Thoughtseize. I'll let that resolve. I imagine that they take the pack to negation here, but we'll find out. They do, in fact, take the Pact to Negation. Oh, no. I meant to bobble myself there. I clicked through it. Dang. All right. I'm going to bobble now, I guess. Should have done it in the upkeep. Let's fetch. I'm going to just grab the island. Cycle the Street Wraith. Consider... Let's mill that. We find out Awara. Pass the turn. Maybe I should have gotten uh, the Watery Grave in case I draw into uh, Watchclaw Talisman. And they're just passing. Play a Bobble. Pass the turn. I think what's happening is I'm double clicking through my opponent's uh, end of second main because I think I used to have a stop there. Today's the first day that I'm playing since Daybreak Games took over Magic Online and it reset all of my settings. So I had to redo that before I went live today. All right, I will bobble myself here. Bell Pierce. I think I want to keep that. Draw for turn. Or draw off the bobble and then draw for turn. Otherworldly gaze. Why, hello. Put the wish claw on top and then this lotus field. Let's cycle the street wraith. And then play lotus field. I'm going to sacrifice the Ottawara and the tapped island. Painted Indulgence, okay. Are you on Reanimator? I mean, this doesn't look like Shadow anymore, but I've been wrong before in my life. Another Watery Grave, okay. I mean, it's looking like Shadow. Maybe there's playing Tainted Indulgence now. Spell Pierce this Thought Seize. If they tap two more lands, I think I'm okay with that trade. Stubborn Denial. Okay. I knew that was a possibility. That does confirm that it's Shadow, though. I mean, yeah. The card we're worried about right now is Drown in the Lock. And I think I'm just going to pass here. Tainted Indulgence. They discard another copy of Tainted Indulgence. They have five in hand. They play a land. It's a Murktide region? It is. They have three in hand now. Oh, I need to set a stop there. That's going to kill me. That's like the third time this game already I've uh, clicked through the end step. 
Pass the turn. Can't believe that, like, I was like, all right, maybe I'll get used to this. That's what I was thinking in my head instead of narrating it out loud or whatever. But I was like, you know, I can just get used to not having to stop on my opponent's second main. But I just can't keep on clicking through that many times. Let's flash back this other worldly gaze. I think I need to just mill these. Consider. Keep that. Draw. Untap Lotus Field. Try to play Wishclaw. If they counter anything, we want it to be this. Ooh, they're playing actual counterspell in their deck. That's different. I wasn't expecting actual counter target spell. Underworld Breach. That's a bummer. I mean, I can try to tap their Murktide in their upkeep, I guess, and hope for a miracle draw. Tap the Murktide. Okay. Honestly, I think I lost this game due to clicking through my end step because there was that turn where they had two lands tapped and I just clicked through and I feel like that was a turn to win through counter spell because I could have twiddled the land because I was already trying to play around Drown Through the Lock. That's so disappointing. Whoa, these are small. Let's uh, increase this. That's terrible. Okay, let's change this to card view. Card view. Much better. I think we definitely want these packed negations. And I think I'm just going to take out consider. Hit submit. Game two on the play this time. Beautiful. Keep. We're just going to draw land two. No big deal. Looted Delta. They pick up a watery grave. 17 life. Cycle Street Wraith. I will not click through the opponent's end step. I will cycle my own Street Wraith. And we found the land. I'm going to just pass here. You might say, why not play the Wish Claw? We saw Stubborn Denial, and I don't want to just, like, lose to that. So I'd rather just play around it. We will Spell Pierce this, though. They play Misty. They fetch. Watery Grave. Shadow. They have a 1-1. One, one. Let's go get our uh, Watery Grave. I think if I draw Underworld Breach, we have a win. I mean, I could technically go for it with the uh, the other Whirly Gaze. I don't know if it's the best idea, though. So... I can play three Twiddles, Wishclaw Breach. Hmm... I think I'm gonna play it slow. Pass the turn. I think going for it there is acceptable, but the way that you need to think about it is every loop you do is minus one card because of the worldly gaze mills three. And I think it's just like not super probabilistic that you hit the one of. And I think the reason that I passed there is that if you do have if you find wish, I don't think you have enough cards in graveyard to escape to hit wish into Tome Scour. We're just going to pass the turn. That's a dress down. All right, so I'm at 13. I am forced to try to twiddle this uh, shadow. There's no difference between 10 and, you know, 12 here. So we will tap target permanent. Counter spell happens. We will tap target permanent. A and then other worldly gaze. Don't want any of these. They play an island. 
Let's tap the watery grave. This is going to shut them off of um, counter spell. I think stubborn and I will still get me unless I draw an untap land, but this seems like a good window. Oh, this is a 4-4, four four, so stub would get me either way. Wow, what a draw. All right, activate. Put good cards in your deck to draw them, right? Underworld Breach. That resolves. Untap Lotus Field. That appeared to be an F6. Let's flash back this otherworldly gaze, or escape this otherworldly gaze, I mean. Okay. Escape again. From four. Found another wish claw. I don't know if I have enough resources for that. Untap the Lotus Field. So if I... I need six mana. Plus the Dream Script. That's not going to... Wish Claw's not going to do it here. I just don't have enough cards in Graveyard. Okay, please, Doc. Found a Wish. I mean, that's the same thing as Wish Claw here. Doesn't get the job done. Hmm. I think I'm probably just dead. I have to bounce the Death Shadow or else I'm dead to another um, Dress Town. And I'm forced to pass the turn. Well, I have 30 cards left in my deck, so I've seen half my library didn't find the Tome Scour. It's a singleton, but that's why I didn't go for it on turn three when I had that theoretical window. Yep. They cycle Street Wraith. Four cards in hand. Draw step. I am dead. Okay, so they just have to make their shadow a little bit bigger to kill me. A fetch land will do that. Street Wraith. Whatever. They cycle Street Wraith. And that's lethal. So we have lost match number one. I'm not going to take this one personally. When we look at our opponent's deck, this is not a, a stock shadow list, but also it's got more interaction than most I've seen. Multiple copies. We saw three copies of Counterspell in game one, for example. Um, Stubborn Denial, Thought Seizes. Like, this deck is just jam-packed full of interaction. Also, another reason not to play Thassa's Oracle, Dress Down. But we got smushed. It happens. I'm just going to, you know, try to get the next one. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw. We've opened up a four lander. Uh, wait, this is a five lander, my bad. Uh, yeah, this is a mulligan. Keep this and bottom. I think the Street Wraith, which might seem a little bit odd, but this is one of those classic hands with Lotus Breach where you think to yourself, okay, this hand does the thing. There's this deterministic loop that you have where... You play Wish with six mana floating, or I'm sorry, you have six mana floating, you play Wish, you get Underworld Breach, you escape Twiddle twice, you escape Wish, and then you uh, get to Scour and you have the loop. This hand could theoretically do that because the Wish Claw Talisman gets you the Lotus Field. You do need uh, 10 cards in your graveyard for the loop to work, so you would have liked that uh, Street Wraith to be in your hand, but sometimes you can't have it all. And it looks like we're facing creativity here. Play the Wish Claw, pass the turn. 
We grab a steam vents. Okay, so I looked at some creativity lists before I started recording this league. They play two spell pierce in their main deck and a singleton uh is it charm as uh spell based interaction. So it's a little bit unlucky that we were spell pierced there, but we do have a backup wish claw. Play number two. Passing the turn, they fetch. Dwarven mine. Could be a creativity this turn. The Seiju who endures, that's pretty good against me. Can also be used to uh, destroy my wish claw here to stop me from ever even getting the uh, Lotus Field. They attack. Persist. So they're on the hybrid reanimator version. Actually uploaded a version of uh, this pre leyline binding. Yeah, can I draw a lotus field, please? Bobble. Drew another bobble. Yikes! I'm in trouble here. Another persist on top of their deck. Draw bobble. Breach. So if I could draw a Lotus Field, I tap this Archon of Cruelty. Okay. The enchantment transforms into Reflection of Kiki Jiki. I'll take three going down to ten. Another Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Hard evidence. Can I please draw Lotus Field? Hey, we did it. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Untap. Another spell appears. I will untap. Yes. Tap for blue. Yes. Untap. Tap for blue. Underworld Breach. Twiddle. Yes. Tap for red. Play Wish. My sideboard is up here. Tome Scour. And now we have the loop. Okay. At this point, it's just going through the process and winning the game. Storm is now 14, just slowly making my way through. We likely have enough resources in the graveyard to try to win at this point, so let's twiddle. It's from 18, yes. Tap it for a red. Escape Wish. Storm 19, and then Storm 20 Grape Shot. We have successfully won a game of Magic the Gathering. I can't believe it. I'm sure you can't either. Wow. Click, click, boom! Lotus Field, good card. So we saw the Besaidu. I think I'm going to bring in one Needle. We play two, so that way you can leave one in the board for Wish, and then you can board one in for Wish Claw Talisman in order to beat that Besaidu. I think, once again, I'm just going to shave a Consider. It's sort of the flex spot of the deck, in my opinion. You could bring in more Pact Negations. I don't think that our opponent's deck is a heavy Counterspell deck, so I don't want to play around that stuff. Keep, 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 keep. Great hand. They just play a Scalding Turn and pass. We draw Lotus Field number two. Oh, I forgot that they... Okay. So I changed my two key to a five key a while ago. So I was just sitting there pressing five being like, why isn't it going to my end step? 
because I, I fat finger hit two all the time. So I decided to switch two to five so that way it just wouldn't happen because when it used to be on two, I would accidentally skip my turns all the time. It would just make me very, very frustrated. We're going to counter this Ren and Six. You are not allowed to have nice things, sorry. How does it feel to get spell pierced, huh? Do you enjoy that? Draw. Bobble. Stomping ground. Let's play the watery grave. Pass the turn. Trigger bobble. Beautiful. And they are passing the churn. Cast this other whirly gaze. I think I'm actually going to keep this. Play needle. Good Seiju who endures. Lotus field. Pass. One more twiddle and I will have a deterministic wish line. I guess uh, I technically don't need it. Assuming that my opponent taps out for no reason, like no reason whatsoever, I could just go land, twiddle, wish into breach, and then win that way. They decide to not blow up my needle with the Prismari Command. They discard a creativity, which means that they must have multiples. So they can cast creativity here. Yeah. Creativity with Spell Pierce back up. So they're telling me I have to try to win. Draw. I don't think we're going to be able to beat Spell Pierce. Play Wish. That resolves. Attempt an Underworld Breach. And here's the spell peers. Yep, you got me. Do I want the other packs over the considers? I'm gonna try it. Maybe this is just being silly, but that was brutal. On the play for game number three. Yeah, this sounds sweet. I want to quickly mulligans all the way down to five. Scalding Tarn, play a bobble. Bobble ourselves. Don't really need another land, we'll fetch. Just grab the watery grave in case we draw a wish claw past the turn. Trigger. Breach? Okay. <clears throat> it makes this wish a little bit worse, but. We are a lotus field away at this point. They play a blood crypt. We will cycle street wraith. Adawara. Draw another breach. I think I'm just going to pass. I could rebuy Bobble there just to draw a card, but it feels a little bit wasteful. The Seiju. We'll go get the red source. Draw for turn. Another fetch. Pass. Scalding Tarn. Grab our island. I don't think there's anything in the sideboard that I want with this wish. Yeah. Draw. I think I'm just passing. Once I can double bobble with a breach, I'll probably do it. Four of in mine, and they're just passing. Five in their hand. Another fetch. So this brings me up to six, but I need seven for a breach to be worthwhile. They're fetching with Scalding Tarn. They play a Dwarven Mine. Alright, let's... 
fetch here, grab another land. I can Void Snare the Dwarf. Bounce this. That should buy me a little bit of time. Underworld Breach. Play Bobble. Look at your top card. Archon of Cruelty. Replay Bobble. And we'll pass the turn. So we will draw a card in their upkeep off Bobble. Another Wish. Look at their top card again. Renin 6. Bobble draw. Draw step. Ay ay ay. Um. What's the play here? Is it just like wish for consider? I think it might be. But also to scour myself now. So if I scour myself now, it gives me fuel for another breach. But if I hit like a wish claw, I could. No, I don't have enough resources for that. I should just cast the consider. I'm going to keep this. It seems silly, but if I draw a random card, I have to discard anyway. And this way I can get the last land out of the deck while holding open spell appears. Okay, fetch. Every fetchable is out of our deck. We just have to find the Lotus Field. I mean, I, I have four Lotus Field, four Wish Claw. Let's just see one. Jeez. Needle. They're fetching. Another Dwarven Mine. I'm going to name Ren and Six. Nature's Claim. Sure. They're getting back their Scalding Tarn. Creativity. Spell Pierce. Interesting. What is so good in your hand? Draw. Oh, is that what I think it is? What? I play that card? That's wild. All right, let's get rid of these basics. Untap. So it might seem weird, but step one here is going to be play a second Underworld Breach so you don't lose to a Besage you. Breach is on the stack. Attempt to twiddle my Lotus Field. Cast a Wish. That happens. Untap the Lotus Field. Okay. Scour myself. Scour myself. I don't need two wishes. We can get rid of one of those. Untap the Lotus Field. 25 cards left in deck. Whittle the Lotus Field again. Also, like, I am winning this game on turn 9. If my opponent had, like, a remotely fast draw, I would have lost this game. It took me forever to find the Lotus Field. Alright, escape the Dream Script on tap. Storm is 15. Might as well scour ourselves. Doesn't hurt anything. All right, and then we'll untap the Lotus Field. Escape Wish. Grape Shot. Targeting the opponent. And they conceded the match. Nice. We are now one and one.
Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. We're in the third match. I'm on the draw. I think I actually want to keep this, which is a little weird. It is a four lander, but we have two ways to dig for Lotus Field. We already have a twiddle. One of the lands is actually a backup or backdoor answer. I think it's just fine. Blood is Strand. Play the Delta, pass the turn. Steam Vents, okay. Basic Island. I'm going to play it a little bit slow, just grab the Watery Grave. If they're not going to pressure me, I'm not going to deal myself a ton of damage. Whittle, pass the turn. Expressive Iteration. Let's see if I can draw into a Spell Pierce. I'm not going to get rid of that. Let's Otherworldly Gay see if I can find Lotus Field. Oh baby. If I mean if I rip Field here, it's a win. Okay, Exile and Merc Tide Regent. Draw for turn. Not the Lotus Field. I'm just going to pass here. On their end step, we can escape, or not escape, flashback the other worldly gaze plus consider. You have a channeler. That's a bobble. Fetch. Play the consider. We will mill that. Flashback other worldly gaze. We did not find Lotus Field. On tab, draw for turn. They'll look at my top card with Bobble first. Cycle the Street Wraith down to 38 cards. I'm sorry, this is 37. I'm not going to play the Wish Claw here because they're holding up Counter Spell. I can create a window where that Wish Claw is just better. Consider. Ouch, I go to 13. Turn and they pass, so cannot twiddle their land. Well, I, I mean, I could double twiddle, I just don't think it's the best idea. Draw. Why not? Let's go to 11. Play the Ottawara. I'm going to try the Wish Claw. I don't think it's going to resolve, but might as well. Interesting. Okay. Attempt to bounce my Claw. On the little nice feature of Void Snare. Beautiful. Lightning Bolt me? Yep. So I'm dead if they have double bolt. I'm going to attempt to tap the channeler here. And that happened. So I am unlikely to die from 8 life. A dash or Agavan. Do not care at all about that. Well, I guess I do actually. Hold on, I do care about that. Don't have it. No, they have it. No way. Ah, uh, they did have the triple bolt the whole time. That's brutal. Damn, I got outplayed. That was rough. Okay. So we have a Void Snare. Question is, like, do I really want to be bringing in... I think we take out three Wreath versus them. Just because, as you saw there, I dealt myself six life with Street Wraith and just got clocked out of the game when I was about to win. 
I think we want one more bounce spell. We'll bring in Echoing Truth because they can theoretically answer a chalice. And submit this. Game tuber on the play. Sure. I need to find land two, but also Lotus Field. Other really gaze. Boom. Everything I could possibly want right on top. Play the bobble. And pass the turn. Scalding turn, bobble. I draw my Lotus Field. Need to play a land for turn, though. Pass. Land number two for the opponent. We'll fetch down to 17 life. I, I'm going to get the red source for this Underworld Breach. And we will flash back another Whirly Gaze. We don't need any of this. What we want is a Tome Scour. Draw. Play Consider. I think we mill that. This is a little awkward, but I think we're supposed to uh, just do it. Pass the turn. Katawara. Dragovan holding open two mana. I think we're supposed to just jam. Whittle. Spell pierce their mystical dispute. And now they have Fluster. So we're actually going to beat this, which is kind of wild. Or actually, they just target the Twiddle with the Fluster. I have to pass the turn. Yeah. Okay. Let's flash back this other really Gaze. We're going to put the Lotus Field on top. Pass the turn. They have five in hand, four available mana. Ledger Shredder. Tap for red, Underworld Breach. Act to Negation. Another Fluster. That's annoying. I mean, we're not dead. I can escape Bobble multiple times. Yes, they have two in hand. Play Bobble. Target you. Blood Moon. I mean, I do have this Echoing Truth. Look at your Blood Moon again. Bobble, Bobble, Bobble. The poor person's Galvanic Relay. Pass the turn. That was actually pretty good. So we're going to take five and go to nine. That's a blood moon. They have two in hand. They can draw into a ragavan with their ledger shredder. We draw off bobble and then we get a draw step. So I can bounce the blood moon right now. And then twiddle. It doesn't do it. I would need another twiddle in order to win. I think I'm supposed to pass, unfortunately. So now they can attack. I will go to four life. They get a second treasure, which means that if they have a counter spell, I'm dead. But I know that Ragavan is one of the three cards they have in hand here. Expressive iteration. They find a bobble. They found basic island. Not a fan of that. Attempt to bounce the blood moon. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Draw off bobble. Draw off return. 
That was their bobble, not mine, by the way. They have four in hand. The thing is, I don't think I can actually afford to fetch. Watery Grave is gone. I think I only have... Oh, wait, I don't have any fetchables left. I am out of fetchables. I think I'm dead. Whittle. Play Wish. Underworld Breach. Somehow that resolved. Twiddle my Lotus Field. Otherworldly Gaze. Twiddle my Lotus Field. Pat for Black. Wishclaw Talisman. Search. Grab the Tome Scour. Twiddle. Yes, Storm is eight. Scour myself. We cannot exile the wish, and they conceded. Nice. Okay. Whew. That was a close one. Beat double fluster, spell pierce, mystical dispute, blood moon. That was a wild one. I think we might want void snare number two. Let's take out the consider. Game three. Yep, keep, 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 keep. Steam and Cinderagavan, classic. Draw. Bobble. Look at my own top card. I do want that polluted delta. If I didn't want it, I could Tome Scour myself. Ragavan gets in. Scalding Tarn was the reveal. And another Flooded Strand. So we're pretty much just waiting to find an Underworld Breach and try to win this game. I'm going to fetch. I don't want them hitting any of my fetchables. Grab the Watery Grave. They hit a Misty. Shredder. They're passing the turn. A lot of lands. Pass the turn. Another Shredder. They bolt me. Okay. So they have four coming in this turn. I mean, I'm going to be dead soon if I don't draw into an Underworld Breach. They have two left in hand. Otherworldly Gaze. In fact, I am dead next turn if I don't draw something. Draw. Come on. I think I'm just dead here. He came out of the gates this game. Do I get a draw step? This would put me to one. They had a Void Snare. Suppressive Iteration. And they had Spell Pierce the whole time. Or uh, Lightning Bolt the whole time. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, they got me. Bummer. Top card would have been a third copy of Lotus Field. The shame. One and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match four, we're on the play. So... This league, obviously, we're one and two. I'm not going to pretend that we have the best record in the world or anything, but I do feel like I'm learning a lot. I've learned that I like Spell Pierce, but I also think that maybe four Spell Pierce is too many. I haven't figured out what to do yet, but, I mean, everything's a learning process. Like, you're not just going to solve things instantly. And I do feel like Spell Pierce has been an improvement, but the problem with it is, as the game continues, it gets worse, so four just feels like a lot.
Bobble. We'll look at our own top card. I will keep that. Draw these team vents. Scalding Tarn Bobble. We look at their own top card. Not quite sure what they're on yet. I mean, this looks like Shadow. Ouch. Otherworldly Gaze. Okay, I think we keep both of these. We draw off their bobble. We will play Steam Vents. Wishclaw Talisman. And it resolves. Scalding Turn Fetch. Three Steam Vents. Breeding Pool into Ren and Six. Okay. And we try to win here. So I activate, I go get Lotus Field, I can then twiddle the Lotus Field, which means that I have to draw into another twiddle effect in order to win here. I did not. I'm going to just pass the turn. There's a Saga. Dash Ragavan. Ragavan triggers. Basic Island. They plus the Ren. And they're passing the turn now. I'm going to flash back this otherworldly gaze. I think we just mill all of these. I'm at 11. Draw. I use the Wish Claw. Grab a Lotus Field, float a blue. Try, attempt to untap my Lotus Field. Now they have blue mana open, but it resolves. Tap it for blue again. Attempt to twiddle. Now we tap for red. Underworld Breach. Because they're a Gigantha deck, they cannot have counter target spell in their deck. Okay. Bone Scour. One nice thing about Spell Pierce compared to Inquisition is it goes with your combo color. One awkward thing about Inquisition on the combo turn is you never wanted to tap Lotus Field for black, ever. And sometimes you just wouldn't play it because you couldn't afford to cast it. All right, now we'll Tome Scour. Scour again. Storm is eight. I feel like we might have enough resources here to just like double group shot. Storm nine. Tap for red. Play wish. Actually, I'm going to want to twiddle again. Now we tap for blue. Wish. Storm 11. Grape shot. That's game number one. Once again, I think we want the packs, board out the considers. I don't think they're a Blood Moon deck when they're a Saga deck, so I'm not super entitled to bring in more uh, bound spells, so I think I'm just going to submit this. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Spell Pierce is just the perfect card. I don't know. It's just that it gets worse as the game goes on. It was like I was just thinking about that a lot when my opponent had Ragavan with a million treasures. But the idea of this deck is to be fast. And if you accomplish your game plan, Spellpier should always be live. Because um, I don't want to go back to playing Black Discard. I think that's the big thing is I don't want to play Inquisition. And I don't want to play Thoughtseize because I don't want to have to fetch for Watery Grave. I really like the idea of three basic islands. So if you wanted to, you could run like two main deck packs and then like three spell pierce maybe. That's another alternative. Keep. Steam vents. Into the old rags. Pass the turn. Did not need a flooded strand. 
We go to 18, triggers. Oh, they're on the breach deck. That makes way more sense now. I'm going to spell pierce this. Spell Pierce targeting your expressive iteration and it resolves. They play a saga. Emery Lurker of the Lock. Draw. I call this Tree Wraith. Bummer. Pass the turn. Old Rags gets in there. We'll follow the 13. Interestingly enough, they did not. Um, attack with the Emery without an artifact in the graveyard, which might mean that they have one, and they do. It's a good one. Yeah. Fetch. It's a watery grave, I guess. Draw. Jeez Louise, so many lands. I've never considered going to less than 20 lands, but I have been flooding a lot tonight. It seems crazy, but I've been flooding quite a bit. Jeez, all the graveyard hate. I don't know if I can actually beat that. I'm definitely going to bring Needle in. Sure. You've got it. Next game. That was not very nice. So we definitely want both needles. I think four packed is a lot. I just didn't understand what they were on previously. Let's bring in the Echoing Truths. Great against Saga. There's Shave a spell. Um, I'm going to go back down to one pack. Let's try this. Game three on the play. Which is the better breach deck? Unfortunately, we cannot keep that. Okay. Bottom of land. Bobble. Look at our top card. Don't want that. Let's fetch. Ouch. Needle, Soul Guide, Lantern. Pass the turn. Drew a Misty. Mishra's Bobble. They'll get their own top card. Mountain. And Ragavan. They draw off Bobble, then we draw for turn. Let's fetch. Leave the steam vents in there. Cast the other worldly gaze. Put the spell pierce on top. Pass. Cycle the street wraith. We don't want them having that. Dragavan triggers and they get a void snare. So they can bounce my needle if they want. Spire Bluff Canal. They do bounce the needle. Nope. And they have it. All right. They're going to exile my entire graveyard, and I will not get to flashback uh, one of these otherworldly gazes. I am in trouble. Really? Okay, flashback. Don't want any of those. Draw. We drew a bobble. Play the needle. Do I need Tormod's Crypt? Or do I play around Emery? I think I probably just play around Emery, right? Or do I name Emery itself? Maybe I should have looked at their top card first. What am I doing? What am I doing? So far away from winning. Ragavan gets in, we go to 10. 
And they exile the Lotus Field. That's brutal. They play a grinding station. Draw for turn. Another land. There's not even anything good to get with the wish. I mean, I could cast Consider, I guess. Is that really the best thing I could be doing? Or did I sacrifice that land? I did not. I wish. Consider. That I can go to the graveyard. So many lands tonight. I'm not one that like likes to complain about flooding out either, but maybe the way that the deck is currently constructed with a bunch of really efficient draw spells between like Otherworldly Gaze, Street Wraith, Consider, all that stuff. Maybe you're not supposed to play 20 lands. Granted, four of them are Lotus Field, but it's just felt terrible. And here they might have the combo. They have to find a Mox Amber. Uh, or does this do it? I think this might do it. I think Bobble's just good enough. They don't get to make infinite mana, but they can mill themselves until they hit Mox Amber. Yeah. I'll pick it up. They must be the better breach deck. They won the match. That's how it works. That's the truth of magic. We're one in three. This league feels really bad right now. But there's still one more one more left. Let's see if I can just get that, you know, pity 50 play points back. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Can we do it? Can I get 50 play points back? I certainly hope so. We will keep this. And if I do decide to go down to 19 lands, it's likely the Ottawara that ends up being cut, not a real land. Especially when we have a Void Snare in the deck. The really Gaze. Keep, 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 keep. Cavern of Souls on Giant. Ah, Amulet. Well, we have a very fast hand, so that works well here. Draw for turn. Fetch. Grab that watery grave. Play the claw past the turn. Another amulet. That's not good for me. Please don't turn to me. That would not be very nice. And this is how it starts. Semi growth chamber. Okay, they float two, float two again. Now they can play a Dryad of the Elysian Grove or an Azusa. Summoner's Pact. They get the Azusa. Oh no. I'm going to get turn twoed. Yeah. Five mana. Now they can play it again. Oh, wow. I'm just being goldfished. Yep. I'm dead. I just got turned two Feels bad. Why did they not get the... Because they still have lands to play, is that why? They could have just gotten the haste land and then the double strike land in one. Are they just going for, like, Ultra Overkill? I guess so. Another Growth Chamber. Yeah, you have infinite mana. That's a prime time. Boros Garrison and the Slayer Stronghold. So now they can give their prime times haste, and then that's lethal. 
That'll do, pig. Okay, game two. At least someone's having fun this league. So this is a matchup that might seem odd that we definitely want packed negation. It stops not only endurance, but also force of vigor. So we're definitely interested in those things. I don't think Void Snare is that great here, but Echoing Truth can buy you some time. So big fan of that. And I think Spell Pierce in general is a little stinky in this matchup. And then again, so is Inquisition of Kozilek. You're not really losing a whole lot. Um, so it's like Spell Pierce versus the Needle. I guess the needle stops besage you, so let's do this. Game two. I think we can do better. Like, this hand's just too slow for the matchup. I don't think we're allowed to keep this. Keep bottom double wish claw. This hand likely just isn't good enough. And now I'm going to wish that this was a spell pierce for their amulet. Yep. Welcome to magic. Fetch. Otherworldly gaze. Mill all of them. Draw. Hey, we actually hit the land. Wishclaw Talisman, pass the turn. Am I just dying again on turn two? My opponent sat there for a little while and then just like very quickly played Amulet into Chamber. I think I'm dead. I think I'm being turn two twice. Explore. Growth Chamber. That's six mana. That's the number. Sweet. I mean, I didn't even have a turn three. So it, it doesn't really matter. Slayer Stronghold. Yep. Now they attack and they go get uh, Sun Home, I think it's called. And then give it Double Strike and I am dead. So that'll do. Okay, well I got Goldfished. This league was uh, pretty terrible. I'm not going to pretend it was good. So we went one and four, which is a disaster. Here's the deck list. Honestly, I don't have feedback to give you at this time. I need to think about everything that went wrong this league and sort of, you know, just absorb it. I thought I liked Spell Pierce, but in the games, uh, maybe not. I don't think Discord honestly would have been any better, so I need to just sit back and think. I still think that this deck is viable. You can choose to disagree with me. I don't really care. It's fine. Um, but I think that right now we just have some slots that we need to reevaluate, and then, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, I felt like I flooded in a number of the matchups, so that stunk. A lot of mulligans. I think we just want to be lower to the ground. There's also some thought on maybe just don't play wish and just have like four breach and just be a turbo deck just like turbo breach no wish have all your stuff in the main deck and win that way so a lot to uh think about here but thanks for watching i do appreciate it and uh have a great day hey brian cook here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below if you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.